Good morning, boys and girls. Here we are again. Thank God we are all together for another lesson. So today's lesson is Jesus Calms the Storm. I'll show you a picture. This is Jesus calming the storm. Have you ever heard of anyone that can calm the storm? Do you think if we told the storm to go away, it would go away? Well, the storm listened to Jesus in this story. So, I'll just start from the beginning. One day, Jesus was with his disciples on a boat, and he wanted to get to the other side. So they said, okay, no problem, we can do that. So they started rowing, and they were having a good time. And then Jesus just kind of decided to rest and the disciples were having fun. And after a while, they weren't having fun anymore because a storm was coming. I didn't, they didn't know it was gonna come. It didn't seem like it would be storming, but it started to storm and they started to get very, very scared. So they said, well, we'll just do our best. So they tried their best to steer the boat, but the wind was too strong and it just made the boat go further and further. I'll show you. Here's the storm and here's their boat. And the boat was almost like this. It was going this way and this way and the water was coming inside and they didn't know what to do. They were panicking. So they said, we have to ask our Lord for help. So they went to him. And what do you think? They found him asleep. He was very calm. And he was just resting ever so peacefully while they were frantic and scared. So they said, Lord, Lord, don't you know what's happening? Don't you know that we are in big, big trouble right now? And he looked at them and he said, okay, just take it easy. So he just told the wind and the sea to calm down. Just like that. And did you know what? The wind calmed down and the sea calmed down. And all of a sudden, everything was calm and peaceful. There was no more storm. There was no more rain just like before. And did you know the apostles or the disciples, they were so amazed. They said to themselves, uh-oh, even the wind and the sea obey him. Can't believe that. That's amazing. Truly, he has to be God, right? And of course he is. So this teaches us a lesson to trust in God and don't be fearful of any problems. As long as you pray and go to God for help and you pour out your heart to him and he will help you in his own way, in his own time. So don't be afraid. So have courage and have faith. And why should we be courageous and faithful? because our Lord Jesus is with us always. Can you remember that? Now, we don't have to be in a boat and be experiencing a storm to feel afraid. Sometimes we're afraid just in our own little ways. So whenever you feel afraid, just remember you're not alone. Jesus is with you and you have help. All you have to do is ask. Lift up your eyes to heaven and ask our Lord Jesus Christ to please help me. Say, please help me. I need you, Lord. And pray. Okay? So, in the Bible, in the book of Mark 4.41, our memory verse for this lesson 
is even the wind and the sea obey him. Right? That's what the disciples said. Exactly those words. So they learned something. They learned what we're learning right now. That we should be courageous. We should not be fearful. Because Jesus is with us always. Okay? So I'm happy to have this time with you. And God willing, I'll see you again next week for another lesson. Till next time, God willing, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Till next time.